All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be taking a portrait that is inspired by the work of Annie Leibovitz. And we want to also use our diffusion panel. And so there, the, what I've got set up over here is, you know, this is just like a wall that's against the side of our house. And it has a little bit of dappliness to it. And it kind of reminds me of some of the backdrops that she used. So I'm like, I'll just use that as my thing. Uh, we already had this one stump that was sitting out here that was my wife uses for different things and I just put another stump down on the ground that I'm sitting on so I don't get my my butt wet. And so the light right now is kind of dapply, like it's starting to go down a little bit and it's coming through this tree over here and so you can see like my beard's getting hit by light, this is getting hit by light, you know, depending on where I am, you know, it's going to start to move and it's going to, you know, start getting splotches of light on my face as well. And so we want to use the diffusion panel so we can just kind of even out the light in general. And then what we'll talk about tomorrow is like some editing that we can do to kind of make the color feel more like an Annie Leibovitz. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my um, shutter release. That way, you know, I can just click the shutter and take pictures. I think it'll be the easiest way rather than me reaching up all the time. I already might need to be holding, you know, the diffusion panel as well. So um, the, the, you know, if I can at least keep that other hand kind of concealed or free, I think that's a good idea. So we can see the, the light here, you know, the light's nice, you know, but if you know if, if we're looking to even things out we're probably going to want to use our diffusion panel so let me grab that just really quick <clears throat> so i'm going to use the diffusion panel that's just the trash can and the lid and again you know what we want with that is basically for the light on our subject to start to become a little more even right and so, you know, we just basically need that light just to, to be coming through that diffusion panel. And because, you know, I'm kind of an open shade, it's already, you know, there's already quite a bit of light around. And so I think we're in pretty good shape. And so I'm able to just kind of hold it in place. So I might just play around with like, you know, body position and other sorts of things and see how that kind of works. Yeah, so just trying different options, you know, Annie Leibovitz, you know, she'll, she'll direct the, the, the model in lots of different ways. You know, I might even try seeing if I can kind of spin around. Let's see if there's any way I can hold this in a way that still looks somewhat natural. Um, one of the things we didn't get a chance to talk about, but there's a guy named Peter Hurley and he does this thing about the jawline. So as you're directing your model or if you're photographing yourself, you may, it may feel a little bit awkward at first, but actually just like just sticking your head out a little bit actually um, can help. Like sometimes when we put the camera in somebody's face, they have a tendency to want to kind of pull back and recede, you know, and that that's not ever going to be very flattering. But just even just a little bit, you know, it helps kind of separate it. And then, you know, you can't see the jawline on me because the beard's there, but um, with most people, it'll help kind of jet that out just a little bit. It'll tighten the skin. It'll wrap around, give you a little bit of a shadow against that edge. So we're just going to try a few things and then, um, you know, but our, what our diffusion panel is doing, you know, you can see like that's not looking very good, right? I mean, you know, I don't think anybody's going to want that. Um, so our diffusion panel is working well. So just kind of play around with it. Try it in different locations, you know, move around, make sure that it's casting its light on your subject so that you're getting nice, uh, nice, even light, you know, especially even if it is like dappled light and you want to get somebody back into the bushes or something like that. You know, there's several like Annie Leibovitz's shots that are kind of like that in the, in the foliage. So, but you know, that's oftentimes can be kind of dappled. So, you know, get that diffusion panel in place. That'll break up that dappled light, spread it out a little bit. So you've got nice, even light. All right, so I'm happy to see what you guys are going to do with your diffusion panels. And again, either do it as a self-portrait or, you know, if you can photograph somebody else in the family um, or if you can get somebody else to help you so they can hold the diffusion panel, you know, so you're not having to do it. Um, that way you're just free to be the photographer and direct the subject and those sort of things. You know, that would be awesome. But, you know, you've got to do what you got to do. So you can see we can do it all ourselves. We can hold the diffusion panel. We can do the portraits. We can take the pictures um, all by ourselves if we have to.